Okay, I'm going to review or show you how to use the Cuppet uh, mini washing machine with a spinner. And it is a 26 pound capacity washer with eight, which is um, 18 pounds for washing and eight pounds for the spinner. It does have a built in drain pump. And um, so that's not gravity fed drain, it has a pump for it. It was $179.99 with shipping on Amazon. Okay, so I have it hooked up to my sink because the attachment was not big enough. So I just got creative and it works perfectly fine. Comes into my sink. I used to have my garbage can right here, but but um, it works good. Oops. So one thing you do have to, I want to tell you right away um, to be careful with because this is what I learned. Um, when you use the washer, there is a drain here, okay? And you have to manually turn it to drain for the wash. But once that you stick it into the dryer and you turn on this spin nozzle, it automatically drains out of your tube. So you have to make sure it's either has a bucket here, which I do just for the draining, not for the wash, or you put this, um, put it up here which I do for when I'm draining the wash. So you gotta be really mindful of that or you're gonna have water all over your house. I know a lot of people, um, they use these portable washers um, and put them in their bathtub, but we're not able to do that because we live in a trailer and we have a stand-up shower and it's not big enough. So I'm gonna throw some clothes in here. These are some clothes that I've been meaning to wash from my gra of my grandma's. Um, so I'm just throwing them in there any underwears or socks, make sure they're all, not all bunched together. Um, so that should be good. I don't have a lot to wash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my soap in there. I'm gonna put my little, my boyfriend likes these things. Since his pants are in there, I'm gonna put them in there. Put that in there. Put your soap. And you can start the water first which I just turn on my kitchen sink. You can start the water at any time, which it does. I find by using it, it doesn't really matter. Um, just gotta make sure you're mindful that you don't walk away from it and leave it because it will get it pretty high. You just close it and you select gentle or normal. You can leave it on normal. And then it goes up to 15 minutes for wash. And then drain it once. I rinse it twice and then I'll come back to show you when it's agitating and also for drying. Okay, so it's filling up and as you can see, um, it has a, quite a bit of water in there. It probably took maybe a little bit less than five minutes. I don't have a, a lot of water pressure here where I stay, um, but that's fine. All I have is time in my hands. So sometimes what I do is I turn it on just for just a, a, just a little bit, just to get it going. Oh, it will help if I turn it on. <laughs> Um, just to get it going to see if all the clothes go underneath the water. Um, I mean, you don't necessarily need it to be all the way to the top. I don't want to waste water if I don't have to. Um, as long as it's everything's getting coated with, you know, the soap and the water and everything's pulsing through. I'm going to add a little bit more water because as you see, this is staying above the water. And that will cause the clothes sometimes to tangle up. So I'm going to stop it and come back in a moment. Okay, I went ahead and started it. I'm just adding a little bit more water. As you can see, it works really well. You can see all that dirt coming out. Um, it's just as if you washed it by hand. Just put the elbow grease in. So we're gonna let this run. I'm gonna put it on a whole 15 minute cycle just to make sure it gets good and clean. And then I'm gonna drain it. Okay, so the water, the washer is done. And that is very yucky. That is the first round, that's the wash. So now I'm going to drain it, which uh, some people can drain it in their toilet, in their sink, in their shower. However, I cannot do it in my shower because like I said, um, we live in a trailer and it won't fit in the shower. And our toilet is a tank. It's not like your sewage system where you can put endless amounts of water in there. So I drain this in my sink and I will show you how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna wanna reach over here to where it says drain. 
and you turn that. The pump will kick in. And I usually just hold it. I have no problem holding it. So look at that yucky water. Ugh. Takes about a minute to drain and then we'll do another cycle. Rinse cycle. Okay, so it's just finishing up the, the um, drain cycle as you can hear the motor. And I usually just hold it in here until um, it start until the water stops coming out. Um, and then I just turn it off. Turn it back on to normal. And then I stick the drain in here just for just for safekeeping. All right. There it is, it's empty. We're gonna do the drain for the rinse cycle now. So I just went ahead and turned on the kitchen sink water and we'll wait for it to fill up. Be right back.